James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 22nd, 2022, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. You're looking at NASA's ISWA spiral. And this is the plasma they had predicted 12 days ago to hit in and around the 22nd or 23rd. It looks like now they have a double whammy with the direct earth-facing CME that took off yesterday. It looks like it's going to hit later this evening, i.e. tomorrow UTC time. And it might combine with the other plasma that was pre-predicted. It looks like it does. And as you can see, it turns black, which is off the charts, of course, here. Uh, in excess of 60 centimeters cubed of plasma, which would be extremely detrimental in a very large geomagnetic storm if this occurs. Let's go to the story coming out. Geomagnetic storms are possible on July 23rd when a full halo CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. It is wild how we've never seen one of these halo eruptions on Lasco if it was Earth-facing. I mean ever. The storm cloud was hurled towards Earth yesterday by a solar tsunami eruption. NOAA forecasters say that a G1 to G2 class minor to moderate solar storm is likely with a slight chance of escalating into a category G3 strong solar storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what time is this expected to hit? NASA's calling it for 0 hundred UTC time on July 23rd, which is going to be 6 p.m. tonight on the 22nd, here centrally. Brace yourselves. In the animation you look at, Earth is marked by a yellow dot. Note that Mars, a red dot, also gets hit by a glancing blow on the 25th. An independent NOAA model of the CME predicts a slightly later arrival with the densest part of the geomagnetic storm cloud reaching Earth at around 4 100 UTC time, which would be 10 p.m. tonight centrally. That's 400 UTC time on the 23rd, which means 10 p.m. central here in the U.S. on the 22nd tonight. Either way, NOAA or NASA, the timing favors sky watchers in the Western Europe and North America. In the most optimistic case of a G3 category storm, Auroras could descend as far south as Illinois and Oregon during the night of the 22nd through the 23rd. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is inbound for just, well, this is going to happen in just a few hours. I hope everyone is prepared. NASA says 6 p.m. tonight on the 22nd or 0 hundred UTC on the 23rd. NOAA says... 400 UTC time or 10 p.m. Central here in the U.S. So tinfoil hats on, seat belts on. Brace yourself, guys. This could be a serious one-two punch. Uh, please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarre World.